Our next guest plays the most wrapped about Italian automotive entrepreneur in all the world. A man so iconic, he doesn't even need a first name. In Lamborghini, the man behind the legend. I know there are many questions about what's under the hood of this car, but my first question is, what is the price tag of the Lamborghini oh, GT? What is the price of a beautiful woman? Mm -hmm. A great bottle of wine, a pasta you remember the rest of your life. These things are worth whatever they ask you to pay for them. You buy a Ferrari when you want to be someone. You buy a Lamborghini when you are someone. Lamborghini. Lamborghini, the man behind the legend, opens in theaters, digital, and on demand November 18th. Say hello to Frank Grillo. It's very good to see you. You, you too, look great. Pal. You're you're strong. I can I'm feel your hands are powerful. I'm strong. You know, it's funny watching that clip. They they aged me in this movie, and uh, I think I might be too vain to be an actor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a bum. You're like oh. I'm a little upset. Oh, now well, I know what I'm gonna look like. You know what they do though? Then when you get much older, they'll do the reverse, reverse and you'll and play, okay. and so it'll all even out. Anyway, I think one of the we we're talking about you today. Uh, I think maybe the first time you were here, you uh, invited me to punch you in the face. And you can do it now. No way. <laughs> I would never do that. I but is it, I was wondering, though, is this like a like a thing that you do regularly? Is like I a, do. Hey. I, I still box every day, and I get punched in the face, Jimmy. Right, but that's in a boxing ring. I mean, that's different. You know, that's the object, and you're I, punching the other people. Like, I, why would you want to be punched? Well, I I think it's it's a great uh, it's a great equal. I actually. I, I was in a business meeting once that, that went bad. And, and I told the guy, and I won't curse, but I said, well, take a swing, take a swing. Oh, at yeah, you? Uh -huh. And he did. And he did, and yeah. what happened? He missed, and I hit him. <laughs> See, that's why I wouldn't take a swing. Yeah. I, and then uh... he said, I can't believe you punched me in the face. And I said, well, you took a swing at me. <laughs> Yeah, technically, I mean, like, if it was on security camera, you'd be fine. Like, yeah, he swung first. Uh, uh, do you see this? Is this a person you... I see him all the time. You, you, you know him. Do I really? Oh, you know him. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's... I see him at the Soho house. You do? How you doing? And then do you talk about it? Or... Uh, no, no, I just wave and smile. It goes unsaid. Wow. <laughs> Um, you got you shot the Lamborghini movie. Did, did you shoot that in Italy? In Italy, yeah. In we Italy. went from Emilia Romagna and then we traveled uh, to Rome. Wow, what yeah. a dream that is, huh? It's beautiful. And I'm Italian. I'm, I come from Italian immigrant family. Yeah. And it was I, I went home. Did you go and to go to the town or village where your family was from? I went where my mother's from in Naples, but my father's from Calabria, which is like by Sicily, so right. I didn't get a chance to go there. And I, I was just there again, because it's in the Rome Film Festival. Oh. Went to Naples again and, and uh, took my oldest son, and we had we had a blast. I would imagine that Lamborghini is someone that they, there is a national hero. There. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah oh. And were they happy? I mean, because you have to be careful, because if you don't, if they don't no, the, like the choice. I gotta tell you, I felt like Brad Pitt. Like you I did. Felt, <laughs> I was like, I was Lamborghini in Italy, and I'm Italian, and I could speak, and I could understand, and it was amazing. Yeah, that is, amazing. well, that's yeah. pretty great. It was it was really kind of, like, to have my son there, it was really, really special. How old and is then, your son? He's 25. Oh, okay, great. Oh, wow. And he just directed his first movie that I'm in. Oh, you are? Oh, wow. Hold on a minute. What is that like to be directed by someone who you probably grounded? It, yeah. <laughs> I'm still, he still lives with me, the kid. Um, uh, 25 years old. Anyway, it's another story. Uh, it it's was, an it, Italian thing, yeah. It was, it was, it was great. Uh, he, was, he was a champion. He was the leader. And uh, I gave him one piece of advice, and I said, the only thing I ask is if you don't know something, just say you don't know. Don't make it up. That's good advice. Yeah, and he, uh, he got shut down from COVID, and one of the actresses didn't behave well. But he muscled through it, and uh, he's got a movie. Do you have that problem with directors where they claim they know what they're doing, and then you realize that they don't? Yeah. Do you, <laughs> do you always know right away, or do you figure it out later? No, there's telltale signs. And one of the signs is when you say to the guy or lady, uh, well, what is, what's going on here? And they go, well, maybe. You're done. Yeah. I'm, I'm done. With, we can't talk again. Okay. Yeah. And then I say, 
All right, we're done for the movie. I'll direct me, you direct everybody else. I see, so one maybe and you're done, you're well, finished. Well, because then they haven't done their work. I see, okay, yeah. well, that's interesting. So, and that went for my son too. And so with your son, did you see, have you seen the movie yet? Well, so he's, my son screens the movie for myself and my buddy Gavin O'Connor, who's a big director and writer. He did Warrior. I did the movie Warrior with him right, and the right, accountant. Yeah. And so my son shows us the first cut of his movie. And he's sitting there and he's biting his nails and it is awful. What is the movie? I mean, it may be the worst movie I've ever seen in my life. So I'm looking at this kid, I'm looking at this kid who, who lives with me, he can't go anywhere, right? So I'm looking at him and I'm getting, I'm getting angry at him. Wow. I'm in the movie, I'm like, I'm like, so the movie ends and my friend Gavin looks at him and he's been taking notes and he goes, well, the thing about failure is, you have to take it as a lesson. And hopefully on the next film, you'll do better. And my, my son's face went pale. Oh no. And I looked at him, I said, I don't know what you're gonna do with this. You're, you're screwed. And we left. What? We leave him there. I left him there for an hour. And then I walked back out and I said, come over here. And I gave him a hug and a kiss, because I'm Italian and we kiss each other. Yeah. And I said, now go to work. Now go to work. You have a bunch of notes, now go to work. Four months later, to his credit, he took all that he could take and he's got a really good little movie. Oh, thank God. Yeah. yeah. Remy, his name is Remy Grillo and hopefully you'll hear more of his name. Oh my God. And he'll move out of my house. Yeah, next. hopefully he's... <laughs> I mean, I, with the way you're behaving, I might help him move out of your house. Wow, okay, what's the name of the movie? Did it's you, called Man's Son, which is a play on Manson. It's, it's, a, it's about a cult in Charles. I Manson. see Man's Son, because yeah. he's living with a maniac. <laughs> I've got to teach these kids to me. I've got three sons, I don't know what's going to happen. Is that, is that how your dad would have handled it? No, my father never spoke to me. <laughs> He didn't know I had a job or I went to school. And, yeah. Is that true? Was Absolutely. he not supportive of your? Well, he had me when he was 18. I see. So he was busy trying to just put grow food up. On. Yeah, yeah just right. Put food on the table. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we've wandered into some uncomfortable territory. <laughs> It's okay, he's, uh, he's gone now, but... Otherwise, how's everything going? It's you good. still divorced? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Funny story, I am very happily divorced. Yeah. But I was recently doing a film in Puerto Rico, and the actress dropped out, uh -huh. and I called my ex-wife. And what? And I said, uh, hey, uh, there's a role, there's a bunch of dough, come down for two days, let's hang out, you'll be in the movie with me, and uh, it'll get you paid a lot of money. So she came to Puerto Rico, we had a great time. I think I might get remarried. <laughs> yeah, why not? I'm lonely. <laughs> well, if anyone from Hulu is watching, there might be a show in the Grillo house. <laughs> uh, the movie, it's called Lamborghini, The Man Behind the Legend, opens in theaters in digital and on demand November 18th. Frank Grillo, everybody. We'll be right back with Goose.